Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about connecting your old uh, keyboard or whatever instrument that has a MIDI output input into your Ableton uh, on a uh, MacBook iOS. And I have a Monterey version of the iOS. So um, usually um, there are instruments that are quite old. They don't have the USB connection to connect your instrument to your computer so you need a MIDI cable um, but I have tried before just buying a um, like an unknown brand MIDI cable and it was unable to connect to my PC so I did my own research and I found out that this is the MIDI, MIDI cable that you would need so I have here a UM1 MK2 MIDI cable from Roland this is the package that I bought from um, Amazon and it's worth 49 US dollars and uh, yeah if you can see here it says uh, this is for iOS iOS um, so, uh, system and then just looking at the back just an information how to connect it and then um, yeah there's no driver inside so what you need to do is you need to install the driver from uh, Roland support so you can see here and then this one is for compatibility with Mac OS Monterey and then it says here Intel base but I'm yeah I'm using the M1 chip but it's still um, it will still work and then you can find the driver here yeah so just get the driver and install it and then connect your um, USB uh, MIDI cable so just a short discussion on the MIDI cable so um, in the MIDI cable you have to connect this to um, there's an instruction here that says uh, this one is connected to MIDI out and this one is connected to MIDI in so if you would look into the MIDI cable connection of your uh, instrument uh, there's a MIDI out MIDI in there so if this says MIDI out then you connect this to the MIDI out of your instrument and the same for MIDI in so once you have connected your um, Roland uh, USB MIDI interface and connect your MIDI cable also into the instrument um, so what happens is you have to uh, go to your audio MIDI setup and then go to your um, MIDI studio and then you would see that your UM1 once you have unpacked the downloaded driver and installed it you will see this in your MIDI studio actually you don't need this thing in your external device you just need this and then you are okay so once you have this installed um, okay just to backtrack a bit if you don't have the driver installed this one this one will not light up so this one is your USB connection this is your MIDI in and out connection okay so that's why you need a driver so once you have the driver installed and then you connect this to your USB then this one will light up yeah oh sorry I made a mistake once you have the MIDI installed and then you have connected this right um, if I remember correctly you need still to go to Ableton Live and then you have to go to your preferences and then MIDI output inputs then you see here you have to select your UM1 then once you do that then this one will light up okay so it means that your connection to your USB uh, from the to your USB from your MIDI cable is already connected to your Ableton so what you need to do is just um, connect this two cables to your instrument and this one will light up as well 
so for now for this demonstration i don't have a midi instrument but i'm using this for um uh some um uh, some sessions and um when i connect this to my instrument with a midi input output this one will light up the other one would, would, would not light up only this one so once you have this lighted up you can now play your instrument and then you would see it uh, your midi uh, input from your instrument to your ableton uh, will be coming through yeah so i think uh, for this video that's it um, if you learned something today or if you like the video please click like and uh, yeah if you find this useful you can share it with your friends and then if you want to see my other videos please click subscribe that's it and thank you have a good day bye